Thank you very much, Shoin, for having me. And I want to commend you and commend Yaga for this initiative. I think it's spectacular. And the conversations have been wonderful. Uh, let me repeat what I have always said consistently, that uh, we are mistaken in assuming that we've had a transition from dictatorship to democracy. We still haven't. And this is why we are showing all kinds of systemic malfunctioning. Uh, when we talk about political parties, we have assumptions. But the truth of the matter is that in our own case in Nigeria, we have the, we, 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 we have the greed and the political interest for the, the parties. And that um, clearly what we have in Nigeria, as we have seen with the occasional malfunction of the systems uh, midway through the journeys, uh, manifested in the quarrelsomeness nature of politics and the, the, the way that the judiciary now has to now come to undermine, let me put it that way, the wishes of the people, its intrusive occupation of the public space. Uh, so just very clearly that increasingly, you know, we, we have very serious issues with party discipline, largely because um, what we call political parties in Nigeria are mere contraptions purely constructed to, to, to help to ferry the ambitions of, of, of people, a good number of who are really, really and truly ill-prepared for the discipline that politics and political party formations require. So what you are seeing uh, is the lack of consistency and continuation. Um, we, are, we keep talking, for, for example, about the fact that we've had 20 or so years interrupted democracy, but we also must have the nature of the of the of the political actors, the changing patterns of, on the political landscape. All these things suggest very clearly that we can number the years of our effort, but that has not injected the kind of discipline and predisposition that we require, you know, for politics and active political participation. You have a high percentage of uh, party office holder um, turnover at the national assembly at the state levels. Uh, so our system is so quarrelsome, largely because, as I said, we, 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 we have come from a military background. We never had a, a clinical transition, uh, as I said, beginning from, from, from you know, our history. Every time, it's always been the military purely and simply putting together a contraption to enable uh, you know, people to ferry their ambition through to the system. So these are some of the difficulties. Of course, when you talk about the judicial Increasingly, we are finding now that the integrity of the judiciary is coming under question, just like any other institution that, that gets sucked into politics. Uh, so uh, it is to say that uh, going forward, two quick things. The first is for us to pay more attention to the future. That is why this conversation is very important, that a new generation of Nigerians with a different view about our country, with a different set of skills and different sets of discipline must begin to see politics in a much more noble form, beyond just the contestation that we are facing for, you know, we are seeing, you know, for all power. The second point is for the judiciary itself to begin to think more in focusing on compelling politics and politicians to fine tune their, their, their articles of discipline internally, rather than the judiciary getting sucked into the whole idea of, uh, of them being the final judiciary you know, to the wishes of the people. Because increasingly what we're going to have in future is a, a judiciary that is highly politicized, a judiciary whose integrity continues to come on, in, you know, into question, and a, a judiciary whose energies are sucked into politics, you know, and not defined, defined principles of interpreting the laws in other areas. So, but I just, again, I want to conclude by saying, I think it would be nice if we focus more on a, on a young generation of Nigerians uh, who begin to, find ways of avoiding the horrible mistakes that we are finding, you know, in the name of politics in Nigeria, i.e. the insatiable greed, you know, the, the indiscipline, uh, the, the, the zero-sum game, this, you know, attitude and disposition, the, the view of politics not as service but a, a vehicle for ambition. And of course, finally, it is to make the point that our sorrows continue to increase because very little, if anything, has always changed in the lives of ordinary Nigerians. So we have had 20 years, but none of those 20 years have suggested that there has been a visible increase in improvement in the quality of lives of Nigerians in the area of social services, in the areas of health, in the areas of education. So we just have a few cowboys coming in and going out, 
doing well for themselves. And this is why you still find that Nigerian politics is for a long time going to remain very, very violent and very, very quarrelsome. But like I said, we can avoid these pitfalls by focusing more on raising a new generation of Nigerians with higher ideals, you know, of the principles of nobility, you know, for public service. Thank you.